Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, now, my dearest royal watchers, I am literally trembling with excitement and emotion as I come to you today with what has to be the most earth-shattering revelation we've had in years. Our beloved Prince William, our future king, has finally spoken out about all those horrible rumors we've been hearing. And let me tell you, Ta, it confirms everything we've been saying all along. Can you believe it? After all this time, after all the drama, after all those vicious headlines about some supposed violent confrontation between the brothers, Prince William has finally set the record straight. The necklace incident, complete fabrication. The physical fight never happened. And you know what this means, my darlings? It means we've been right all along about who's really been spreading these nasty tales. Now, before I dive deeper into this shocking revelation, let me just say that as someone who has followed the royal family for over three decades, I have never, and I mean never, seen anything quite like what we've witnessed these past few years. The amount of lies, manipulation, and frankly disgusting behavior from certain quarters has been absolutely unprecedented. But today, oh today, the truth is finally coming out. You know me, I've always had such a special place in my heart for William and Catherine. I remember watching William grow up, this precious boy who carried such dignity even in his darkest moments. I was there, glued to my television, watching him walk behind his mother's coffin. Such strength, such grace in one so young. And now, seeing him emerge as this incredible leader, this devoted husband and father, this future king who carries himself with such integrity. Well, it just brings tears to my eyes. And Catherine. I, I, Oh, my darling, is can we talk about Catherine for a moment? Have you ever seen anyone adapt to royal life with such natural grace, such elegance, such understanding of what the role truly means? Unlike certain other people who shall remain nameless, though we all know exactly who I mean, Catherine didn't come charging in like a bull in a china shop, trying to modernize everything and make it all about herself. No, she took the time to learn, to understand, to respect the traditions that have kept this magnificent institution going for centuries. But let's get back to this absolutely shocking revelation from William. You know what really strikes me about how he's handled this whole situation? The dignity, the absolute dignity. While certain others have been running around California, sitting on talk show couches, signing Netflix deals, and writing tell-all books full of, well, now we know, complete fabrications, William has maintained his composure. He's focused on his duties. He's continued to serve the people. That, my friends, is what real royalty looks like. And can we just take a moment to really think about the timing of all these vicious rumors? Isn't it interesting how these stories about William supposedly being violent just happened to surface around the same time that certain people needed attention? Around the same time that certain books needed to be sold? around the same time that certain Netflix documentaries needed viewers? Hmm, makes you think, doesn't it? You know what breaks my heart the most about all of this? Thinking about our beloved Queen Elizabeth, God rest her soul. Can you imagine how painful it must have been for her in her final years, watching her precious family being torn apart by these vicious lies? This magnificent woman who dedicated her entire life to service, who put duty above everything else, who managed to steer the monarchy through some of its most challenging times, having to witness this circus, it's absolutely heartbreaking. But let me tell you something that really gets my blood boiling. The absolute audacity of certain people to paint themselves as victims while actively spreading these horrible lies. I mean, really, you leave royal duties because it's too difficult. Oh, poor you, living in palaces and being waited on hand and foot. Run off to California, sign multi-million dollar deals based solely on your royal connections, and then have the nerve to cry about how badly you were treated? Please, hey, and don't even get me started on that puppet master from Montecito. Talk about a masterclass in manipulation. First, she comes in pretending she knew nothing about the royal family. Oh, please, as if anyone believes that anymore. Then plays the poor innocent victim 
who just wanted to serve while simultaneously planning her exit strategy and trademark applications, and now orchestrates this entire campaign of lies and manipulation from her $14 million mansion. The sheer nerve of it all. But you know what's beautiful about truth? It always, always comes out in the end. And that's exactly what we're seeing now with William's revelation. He didn't need to write a tell-all book. He didn't need to sit down with Oprah. He didn't need to sign a Netflix deal or launch a podcast or whatever else they're doing over there in Montecito. No, he simply stated the truth with dignity and grace, just as we would expect from our future king. Let me share something personal with you, my dear friends. I was at a royal engagement recently where I had the privilege of seeing William and Catherine up close. The way they carry themselves, the way they interact with the public, the genuine warmth and care they show, it's absolutely magical. There's no PR machine working overtime, no carefully crafted victim narrative, no Hollywood lighting and camera crews following their every move. It's just pure, genuine service to the people. And speaking of service, can we talk about the incredible work William and Catherine have been doing? While certain others spend their time complaining about how hard they had it, these two are out there actually making a difference. Their work with mental health initiatives, their environmental projects, their support for healthcare workers during the pandemic. This is what real royal work looks like not sitting in your Montecito mansion doing Zoom calls and calling it service. The contrast couldn't be more stark, could it? On one side, we have William and Catherine raising their children with proper values, maintaining the dignity of the crown, working tirelessly for the good of the nation. And on the other side, well, we have the Montecito moaners constantly playing the victim card, trying to monetize family drama. And now, as William's revelation proves, spreading complete fabrications about family members. You know what really strikes me about all this? The complete lack of self-awareness from certain quarters. I mean, imagine throwing your entire family under the bus, spreading vicious lies about your own brother, all while preaching about kindness and compassion. The hypocrisy is simply staggering. And don't even get me started on that infamous Oprah interview. Talk about a masterclass in manipulation and half-truths. But here's what gives me hope, my dear friends. Despite all the drama, despite all the lies, despite all the attempts to tarnish the institution, the monarchy endures. And do you know why? Because of people like William and Catherine. They understand that being royal isn't about celebrity status or Netflix deals or playing the victim. It's about service, duty, and dignity. And let's talk about dignity for a moment, shall we? Have you ever seen William run to the press with every little family disagreement? Have you ever seen Catherine giving interviews about how hard it is to be royal? Have you ever seen them using their children as PR props or trying to monetize their royal status? No, because they understand something that certain others clearly don't. That true nobility comes from how you conduct yourself, not from titles or wealth. I have to say, watching how William has handled this whole situation has only increased my admiration for him. Think about the pressure he's been under. Having these horrible lies circulating about him, watching his brother become a puppet to that woman's ambitions, seeing his beloved family being torn apart, and yet he's maintained his composure throughout. That's strength, my friends. That's real character. And Catherine, Oh, my darlings, can we just take a moment to appreciate this absolute gem of a woman? While certain actresses turned duchesses were busy plotting their escape and planning their Hollywood comeback, Catherine was quietly getting on with her duties, supporting her husband, raising her children, and showing the world what a real princess looks like. No drama, no demands, no diva behavior. Just pure class. You know what this whole situation reminds me of? It reminds me of something Queen Elizabeth once said about duty and service being the cornerstone of monarchy. William and Catherine embody this perfectly. They understand that being royal isn't about personal gain or celebrity status. It's about service to the people. Unlike certain others who seem to think that being royal was some sort of ticket to Hollywood stardom. And let's talk about Harry for a moment, though it pains me to do so. Oh, my dear friends, have you ever seen such a tragic transformation? From our beloved prince serving his country 
supporting charitable causes, being a favorite of the nation, to what? A shadow of his former self, completely under the spell of that manipulative woman, spending his days in California complaining about how hard his privileged life was. It's like watching a Shakespeare tragedy unfold in real time. But you know what? In light of William's revelation, we have to ask ourselves, how many other stories have been fabricated? How many other truth bombs from Montecito are actually complete fiction? It really makes you think, doesn't it? If they could make up something as serious as a physical fight between brothers, what else have they made up? My dear royal watchers, this is why I always say we need to look at actions, not words. Look at how William and Catherine conduct themselves. Look at their dedication to duty, their respect for tradition, their genuine desire to serve. Then look at, well, you know who I mean, the constant victim narrative, the endless publicity stunts, the desperate attempts to stay relevant. The contrast couldn't be clearer. And speaking of staying relevant, isn't it interesting how every time the spotlight starts to fade from Montecito, suddenly there's a new revelation or another truth bomb? It's becoming so predictable, it would be laughable if it weren't so sad. But you know what? The British public isn't fooled. We see right through it all. As I wrap up my thoughts on this absolutely shocking revelation, though I could go on for hours, I want to say this. William speaking out about these lies isn't just about setting the record straight. It's about protecting the institution of monarchy. It's about preserving the dignity of the crown for future generations. It's about showing the world what real leadership looks like. So here's to William and Catherine, my friends, our future king and queen, who continue to make us proud every single day. And as for those others, well, I think their actions and fabrications speak for themselves, don't they? Stay strong, my royal watching friends. And remember, keep calm and support William and Catherine. They're the ones who truly deserve our attention and admiration, not those troublemakers across the pond with their fake stories and victim narratives. Until next time, my dears, keep waving those Union Jacks and supporting our wonderful future king and queen. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.